land for sure. Hey, let's get you over to uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin right now. Check in with meteorologist Mike Seidel. Going to bring you some real weather science tonight, folks. Uh, live weather balloon, Mike. Take it away. Okay, here we go. Mike Bettis, Scott uh, Birchback, and also Scott Coltice here from the National Weather Service. Scott Coltice will be manning the balloon. It's a big uh, beige-colored balloon, and it's got hydrogen in it, very flammable. And Scott, this Scott will take care of the radio sign. Now, we've got winds of about uh, 35 miles an hour in gusts. We've got snow. We don't want to do any soil samples. We don't want to get into the trees. And uh, how fast will it be out of the way? Well, we're where we don't see it because we got this ceiling down to about 3,000 feet. Yeah, with this, the ceiling coming down in the snow, probably no more than a minute or two. Okay, Matt Safer's on the camera. We're going to try to follow this. Again, 69 other stations, 70 upper air stations do this around the country twice a day. Here we go. Here comes the balloon. They're doing a two man operation today because of uh, the wind as they come out of the upper air building. They've got the uh, orange there and the radio sign with Scott Birch back Scott, over this here. Way. We're going to come this way. Look at the wind out here whipping. Keep an eye on the balloon and how fast it goes downwind. Boy. Yep. yep. Okay, here we go. There they go. And then Scott will let the radio sign go at some point. Look at him running down, downwind. There it goes. Let's see how long we can keep it on camera. Boy, it's, it's going back and forth with the wind. The snow intensity has picked up. We're finally getting into a band. Uh, we haven't had much snow here for the entire afternoon. We're still seeing it going down over the airport. Now, they call the airport control tower before they send it up to let them know and all the pilots know. There it goes, Scott, into the, into the ceiling, into the snowfall. Yeah, we got a gust there, so that's why I had to run with it for a little bit. But it's up and going. And, and it gets bigger as it goes up because the pressure decreases. Yeah, as the pressure decreases in the atmosphere, this balloon will get bigger and bigger, uh, pretty much as big as this upper air building that you've been showing this And now afternoon. it's sending back the, uh, uh, the uh, automated reports, the temperature, the moisture, the dew point, all that. Every yeah. second it sends back all that data, yep. Have we lost it, Matt? Yeah, I think we've lost it. There you go. Well... That's that was fun. Not, not, that too, was fun. Uh, not yeah. too shabby. Yeah. Scott and Scott, thanks for your You're welcome. help out here. National Weather Service in Green Bay. Again, these observations will go into the Zero Z computer models, forecasting not only the rest of this storm, but the one next week. And the American model goes out 16 days. Mike Bettis back to you in Rochester, Minnesota, as the snow starts to really wind up here in Green Bay. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff there, Mike. Thank you very much. A lot more